everybody. Can everyone hear me okay? First thing, we're ready to get started. I'm so excited about these doors. Um, I changed my whole entire color set out, and here's what I've chosen. Um, I think it's going to be good. I, I don't know. I woke up this morning and I said, mm, nah, let's change it. So I changed it. So a few announcements to start us off. We have a winner from last week. Um, this person participates a lot, donates a lot, and we wanted to say thank you very much. And she's going to win the Spring Fling Mix and Match Quilting Collection, and it's gorgeous. And the winner is, drum roll please, dun 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 dun, dun Gail Tips. So congratulations, Gail. Um, send me an email to sue at omlembroidery.com, and we'll send this out to you. Okay, and up for grabs this week. I'm trying to keep things bright. Uh, greenhouse treasures. Isn't that stunning? Are we reflection-y? A little bit reflection. It's pretty hard. Um, look at all the designs you get. 33 different designs in three sizes each. Designs fit hoop five by seven and larger. Look at these gorgeous design. That's one of my favorite right there, the bug and all these flowers. Look at that. Oh, I oh, bigger bug. So an amazing set. And uh, so participate, get people in, share a whole bunch of stuff. The more you do, the more chances you have to win. Stand out from the crowd. So after this door, now this door is put on from Designs and Machine Embroidery, and it's free. So you just have to go to their website, which is D Z G N. I I can't say it without saying Z. D Z G N S dot com. And in Eileen Roche's blog is where you're going to find it. And they are going to do a door every month, a different decorated door. So this is January's door. Um, okay, so coming up, we're going to start doing uh, Valentine's Day mug rugs. And I played with one design. Now the testers haven't seen it yet, but this is one we'll be doing in two weeks. So what do you guys think? Of course, I used metallic thread. This whole design is metallic thread. This is the red metallic, the gold in the red, and the black around it really sets it off. And both my kids pointed out this is a really neat shape, and it's just the shape of a top of a heart. So um, we're going to have fun with this. So this will be upcoming. Next week, we're going to do another Valentine's one um, that the, the tester said was really fun to stitch out. And by the way, this is my dancing dragonfly um, fabric in the back. So upcoming, good fun. So one last thing I wanted to tell you guys. Everyone's always asking me about... Um, applique doing the applique pre-cutting it or whatever now i want to show you guys this is from dime of course they have the coolest stuff if you're looking for stuff head over there this is called fusion stick and this i'm pretty sure is what everyone's looking for so you iron low iron and you fuse it on the back of the fabric and then it it has like a peel away and you stick it on so i'm like wow that is what everyone needs so it's a unique double-sided adhesive stabilizer that is perfect for applique one side has a low melt adhesive that is activated by using a medium setting on a hand iron the other side is a sticky adhesive protected by a paper backing so the cool part is uh, iron it on that's easy enough do all your fabric and then when you use it as an applique you don't have to iron in the hoop it just sticks so i'm pretty sure people have been asking me about this and i am pretty sure this is what they're looking for so i thought i'd mention that i'm going to use it in uh, videos upcoming like to put the heart down and uh, other appliques and we will uh, work with it so all right I think we are just about ready to start um, 
Oh, I forgot to say, when you guys finish your doors, it's really important that you post a picture on your personal Facebook page and use the hashtags Dime Door, all one word, and Dime So Long. So hashtag is what we used to call like number sign or pound, Dime Door. That way, the people at Designs and Machine Embroidery will be able to find it and they're going to post it. They're going to repost it. So post all your doors on your personal um, page and uh, I will write you guys a note um, so you know the hashtags to use. So all you have to do is just type them in and Dime will be able to find you using the hashtags. So that's a great way to get your doors out. I am hoping that we can completely overwhelm Dime and they'll be like, oh, thanks, Don. Don put them up. Um, and they'll be like, wow, yes, because we, we love our Saturday stitch along. So... Any chance that the doors will be out for the five by seven? I have no idea because I didn't make it. I, I'm not thinking so, but I mean, we can always ask Dime. I think there's too much detail in it for a five by seven. So, but I didn't create it. So what do you guys think of my fabric? This is my gingerbread fabric, by the way. So secretly in my mind, it's going to be a gingerbread house. <laughs> Because why not? <laughs> well, why? well, you didn't didn't figure that out, Don. No, I, I'm still enjoying the coffee. I'm a little slow. <laughs> oh, I know. I'm not feeling the greatest today, so I'm a little bit slow. I'm a little bit off, so you guys will have to forgive me on that one. Sometimes the meds I take for my heart attack meds, they make me kind of dizzy, and it's not nice. So that's what I'm dealing with today. But the show must go on, as they say. So any questions any questions someone says carol carol allnut is saying i'm just downloading the design yep it's right there um it's right there so welcome by the way to people who are new to our saturday so longs Bunch new we have a bunch of new people. I see a lot of names that I recognize. Um, just so you know, my name is Sue and over there is Don. We don't give him a microphone because we don't actually want to hear from him that hey. much. <laughs> I saw Jeff Chandler in the group, so Don has a little bit of backup. Have we heard from the Norseman? Uh, I haven't seen it yet, but I haven't been watching him or something. Uh, I haven't, I haven't seen. So Don's got backups. So, and uh, we are from OML Embroidery. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. We have a big goal of getting a hundred thousand subscribers. So anything you guys can do to make that happen is awesome. All the designs we do on Saturdays are free. They're absolutely free and you can find all the designs except for the door designs in the OML Embroidery University Facebook group. So go ahead and join the group and there the the file section is massive. There's a lot of free things. Stitch along, participate. That's all we want from you guys. Don's here. What? I'm here. I have an announcement. <laughs> we have a lot of mods in the uh, chat right now that can help you out with answering questions. If you want to make sure that it stands out, you can hit the dollar sign when you're typing in your question. And for a small little donation to help support the channel, it will post your um, question uh, for a little bit longer period of time so that we can make sure we do catch it and we will notice that on on camera yeah you can see them um because when i'm looking at the chat it's just rolling by which is awesome absolutely awesome but i don't catch everything it rolls on by so if you it's called a super chat if you do a super chat then it puts a big color on it and a little animation and it's awesome so, so thank you everyone for any and all support that you provide to the channel yeah if you can't donate or purchase any designs you know what you can participate and it's just as important by sharing getting people to join you know sharing in different groups i can't do that because people say that it's self-promotion so that's up to you guys so there's a ton of ways to help support the channel and we appreciate every 
bit of support that we get and we're having a good time so i hope everyone has their coffee ready um i got mine ready yeah have some more don <laughs> i'm gonna have a sip of i have cold sugar today because i'm not feeling well so that'll help along and are there any questions before we get started mm. People are saying that they downloaded the design. That's good. Karina, the super chat looks like this. Thank you as always, Karina. The moderators in the chat and, of course, in the OML Embroider University group are amazing. I wanted to say a heartfelt thank you to all the mods. You guys help out so much. You are incredible. Thank you so much. So are we ready to go to the machine, the, the, the machine, make dreamy, my brother dream machine. See, this is why my brother dream machine, <laughs> make dreamy. We call him. If we're ready to go to the, Oh wait, Oh wait. I wanted to show you guys. I almost forgot. Oh my goodness. Look what I got for Christmas. I tell you my mother-in-law Don's mom, mom, she rocks. She bought me king star metallic threads now i took the gold for mcdreamy but look at the colors i have now so it's going to be a metallic world here look aren't they beautiful this is amazing it's like a copper color um red a different like a lighter pink and the bold blue i love it so yeah mom thank you you rock <laughs> it was an awesome christmas with my uh dragonfly fabric and king star metallic thread it's awesome so we'll be um using some of these colors today we're going to be using the gold so um yeah awesome isn't that isn't that fabulous I'm going to have so much fun with that. I, I just wanted to tell you guys, Santa Claus was a little bit slow in delivering these threads. So I didn't have them for last week, but I have them now. All right, let's switch over to McDreamy. Camera change. Um, camera change. Camera change. There you go. Yep. Camera, are we good? You are <laughs> Jeff Chandler says, hi, mom. Can I send you my address? I know. I know. She totally rocks. She totally rocks. But you see, she watches every video and she saw how much I love the King Star and she got online and she actually shopped online. Did you point out that she does not embroider? Yeah, no, she does not <laughs> embroider. She loves the mug rugs. She's actually the inspiration why I wanted to create more mug rugs because she said like she was putting out the Halloween ones and when it wasn't Halloween, she turned them over and still use them. And I thought, oh, I, I, I could do better than that. So that's how I started. So here we are. It's a big hoop, which, you know what? It's kind of cool. If you don't have a big hoop, you could still watch along and pick up some tips and tricks. And it's awesome to be part of this group and watch everything happen. So beep, beep, let's go. So the first step is going to be, I think it's the outline. I'm pretty sure it's the outline. Where did I put it? Oh, right there. <laughs> Just so I remember, I don't usually print out instructions, but I did today because I'm kind of feeling kind of duh. So there we go. So uh, place batting in the hoop, stitch color one, batting tack down. So that's a little bit different than the steps that we take, but it's still perfectly fine for applique. There we go. So, ooh, so I have my, it's an eight by 12 hoop. So I am going to do the stitches and stuff in a darker color so you guys can see it. I would recommend using, you know, paler colors because if you use black on the bottom, it can show through. But that's why I'm going to use a darker color because you guys uh, need to be able to see it and it doesn't show up very well. So I have my batting in the hoop. And we're going to stitch, stitch it down. So go McDreamy. No troubles this time. Go McDreamy. McDreamy gave me troubles last time. No, no, no troubles. No, no, no. 
salt. That. Oh, I forgot to check my bobbin. What's in your bobbin? Eh, it's just white thread. That's our that's our joke, I guess. No. I knew I'd forget. I always forget to do something. There's so many things that we have to do for like to get this going, and I forgot to check my bobbin. So the next step is uh, put down our base fabric which is now you can cut out your batting if you want I'm not going to I'm gonna do it at the end there we go so just sliding it back well I love using a big hoop I haven't done this for a while it's been five by seven all the way man there we go got a little fluff there so the next step is really cool this is going to be our details that make the brick and uh, make it look well, awesome, I'm going to say. I, I really love this detail work. So I am going to use, I think I'm going to change threads. I probably should, scissors. Oh, I have such a big hoop, I couldn't see my scissors. So I'm going to, you could do it in black, and I was kind of thinking about that. But I have a nice shade of brown that I think, hopefully, will look fantastic. So just give me a sec to change my thread. I probably should have done this first. That would have been fine. But, you know, it's an off day. It's an off day. Oh, nice, nice close-up look on my puffy hands. Awesome. So, okay, let's get this started. And it's really cool to see the brick coming together. I think it's, I think it's awesome. Yeah, see, that's a nice color. It blends, but it doesn't blend. So I kind of like that. Hopefully you guys can see it. Yeah. Black would have been okay too. Or you could do a lighter color so it's like the, um, what's that stuff called in between bricks, Don? Mortar. Mortar! <laughs> Thinking bombing. Mortar, 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 mortar. So this is gonna take a minute to stitch. So, um, oh yeah, look. Oh, that's gonna be so pretty. Oh, I've been dying to do this. Now, I didn't stitch it out. This is my first stitch out of it. Um, I just cut the fabric that I needed. And I used, uh, by the way, I used my um, sweet pea cutting, cutting rulers that are meant for each hoop size. And it was lovely. <laughs> it was lovely. So if you're using an 8x12 hoop, you grab the 8x12 ruler and it gives you a nice inch or so on each side. I was just like, yeah, that's the way to do it. That's awesome. So let's see what's going on chat while we're watching our bricks stitch. Kingstar is from Dime. So you can order it directly from Dime or you can go to one of their distributors depending on where you live. So I know Cindy King. Hi, Cindy King. I don't think Cindy King's going to be here today. She's awful busy, but she's usually listening. So hi, Cindy King. She bought them from uh, another company that's a distributor. So if you go on to the Designs in Machine Embroidery website you can find a list of their distributors and that would be where you go for it so what is the sweet pea cutting ruler okay it's awesome i've done two videos on it so i'll i'll describe it to you guys but you need to check out the videos that i bought them all i don't care um they're rulers that are the perfect size and shape to fill your hoop so if you're using a five by seven you grab the five by seven ruler you don't even have to think about it you cut out your shapes and it's perfect and they have every size from big to small and to me it's a great time saver i used it for most of mine today it's um it's awesome hard time finding where to go to get the video oh yeah okay quickly flip done sir right on the ball here we're going to flip back to the desk while our bricks okay this is the sweet pea ruler that i use so it's uh, oh not it's not but hoop size six by ten cutting size eight by twelve and you have all it's going to be hard for you guys to see 
but it all the measurements along each side now this is your stitch area in the middle and what they do is they give you this really cool holder so you can hold it and use your rotor rotary color so you can get that from sweet pea i absolutely love them i bought like the whole set like i said and i keep them handy and uh, you can hang them up if you're in australia uh, you get different ones that have a handle on it but it was too expensive to ship so that's what it is um i love them i love them i did two videos on the oml embroidery um channel when they first came out showing you guys how to use them and i think sweet pea shared them too because they're awesome all right back to mcdreamy back to mcdreamy um yeah, I really love the rulers. I, I know everything in embroidery can be expensive, but some things are worth it to save you time. I know Dime has a whole bunch of, you know, placement things. Everything that'll say, yeah, Dawn has actually used the placement thing. Um, we don't do towels and shirts and stuff too often. Shirts, maybe. And he wanted to know placement on... Uh, towel that he was embroidering for someone and uh, I, I just handed him the template he's like oh <laughs> oh that's awesome okay so McDreamy McDreamy so now the next step is going to be our walkway fabric and I chose this fabric I thought it would be cool I'm just gonna line it up there so it's easier to cut. I'm just going to cut it at the machine probably. And it's just going to do a straight line across to attach that for us. So awesome. Beautiful. I kind of think it's walkway-ish maybe. Ish. Okay. So I need to, the first thing I need to do. Oh, thank you. I suppose that's off camera. All right, what I'm doing here is I'm just trimming the fabric along the line. I'm not worrying about the edges or anything. We are going to do it later. You could probably hear me snip. Oh, you can see my hand. There you go. All right, let's do our door. So the color I picked is a really gorgeous green it's it's stunning green and uh burgundy i don't know if green doors exist i don't even know if it matters but i just thought they were nice colors this green ones. have you seen green doors yeah i've seen their green oh. they look nice it's pretty you're supposed to have or old fashioned wise you're supposed to have a bright colored door to stand out so okay let's do the placement um, this is where you could get creative. The first fabric I picked for the back was lighter colored and it had uh, snowflakes on it. And I thought that was just fine. I thought it was really cute actually. But I changed it so. But you can get really creative. There's no one, th there's nothing, you know, written in stone about it. If I was using my peel and stick stuff, this would be super easy to just stick it down with no no wrinkles it's beautiful isn't it i like it i like it i'm just using the same colors you don't need to hopefully you guys can see it well enough i should have probably switched to black but what are you gonna do right sweet pea ruler thanks for bringing that over don that's awesome uh yeah probably it's kind of in my way there we go. So it stitches it down twice and looks good. I think because of my big hoop, I'll have to switch back to my desk to do the trimming on this one. So can we go back to desk? Yes. Boop. Boop. There we go. So hold on. Ugh. Oh. Oh. I banged the hoop on McDreamy. Sorry, McDreamy. Don't get mad at me. <laughs> don't be mad for smacking you. Even the brown looks good on, on the green. So, using my duck-billed scissors, because mine are nice and sharp, and I'm doing it the wrong way, 
But that's okay. This is how we're supposed to do it. I just like to not put my hand in front of the camera. So there we go. Trimming away. Make sure you always take your time trimming. It's important. It makes your applique better. I don't usually like to trim out on the machine uh, because I like to have it in the right, you know, area to trim it. So what do you guys think? Norseman says that it looks like a leprechaun door. A leprechaun door? Well, why not? Why not? Can you imagine this kind of fabric for the door? Because why not? You There's not too many detail details on the door. So, um, oh, so Esther, check your bobbin. Well, you, aren't you smart? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to do that. That's what I had left. So I'm going to do that. Thank you very much. That's awesome. I got to grab oh, a bobbin. Yeah, yeah, I would have run out and have to take the hoop off in the middle. Yes, thank you for the reminder. That that was literally awesome. So, yeah, you're not seeing anything on camera because I'm just changing my bobbin. Uh, there we go. There we go. Where did I put the cover? Oh, right in front of me. Whew. All right. Thank you very much. That was that was awesome. All right, let's go back to McDreamy. I love it. I love the contrast. And my gingerbread house is awesome. Awesome. Dreamy's up. Dreamy's up. Thank you. Thank you, McDreamy. So the next step is going to be the door details. Now, I want black for this. So I'm going to switch my thread back to black. Um, you could use any colors. A lot of people are using colors that match um which is nice so you know green door you could have a green metallic thread i was gonna metallic everything up but i changed my mind um you could do anything what do you find that your tension gets funky when you uh when your bobbin's low yep standard that's how i can always tell um very rarely do I, does the bobbin run out and McDreamy tells me if I'm not paying attention, it does. Otherwise, nah, I, I can tell I'm always watching my machine and I catch it before it gets bad. So let's let this rock out. We might be a little bit longer today because there's a lot of stitching, but that's okay. We have time. So this is the detail work on the door and it's going to do the nice satin stitches and give us nice edges uh, Carol says can't sew this as my largest hoop is eight by eight happy to watch Ah, uh, sorry but I'm glad you're watching um, I think that's awesome uh, it's nice to see this design come together because right now it's like oh, okay that's cool it's gonna look fantastic um, it's awesome so uh, I like the black I really like the black. That's really nice. I think it's going to look great on the green door. So you can, you know, feel free to really be creative with your fabrics. You can do different colors. You can do, you know, a, almost a Christmassy fabric for the background with snowflakes on it. We're going to do another tree here. So that'll be, that'll be cool too. I'm going to use a darker brown than that for the tree. But isn't that nice? The green is gorgeous. Um, Sue Shive. While you're hitting the like button, subscribe to the channel. Yeah, please. The the goal, just a personal goal. Um, when I, I, I don't know if you guys know. Maybe everyone knows. I had a heart attack a couple of years ago. And I made a total turnaround in my work and... You know, we still run an embroidery business, but I'm doing more of this. And one of the goals was to stitch a need a good design out because I had never made the time to do that. And the other one was to have a rocking embroidery channel that made everyone happy and did some crazy things and get 100,000 subscribers. I know it seems out there, but we can do it for sure. So um, I think it'll... I think it'll be great once we hit it. We'll we'll do something huge for it. It'll be awesome. Uh, so, are there any questions? 
Can we all give Sue and Dawn a thumbs up? Well, not so much Dawn, but Sue, yes! Yes! Yes, for sure. What? I'm working over here! Isn't that a New York saying, or what we think a New York saying is? It's awesome. <laughs> I got some wireless headphones for my son for Christmas. Awesome, awesome son. And was able to go to the kitchen for coffee and still hear everything you were saying. Don't you love technology? Don't you just love it? That's fantastic. Wireless earphones. I use them. I have an uh, iPhone and I have the wires, wireless earphones. And I use them all the time while I'm stitching and working to listen to books. I listen to a ton of books. It's a lovely escape. It doesn't distract you enough that, you know, you miss something, hopefully. But what are you laughing at? Karina says Don does all the work. <laughs> Karina! <laughs> Whose side are you on, Karina? We're gonna have a chat afterwards. <laughs> yeah, I love playing with the machine. Um, McDreamy is a brother dream machine too, and it was very strange for me to purchase it because we've had, you know, commercial machines, multi needle machines for 15 years, and I said, I want a single needle, and Don was like, Really? <laughs> yeah, and it's amazing one of the things i like about it is the tech as we're talking about uh technology the cameras the lasers the sewing is fantastic but also it's quiet there are just some days that i don't want to listen to my 10 needle machine uh dawn has all the machines in the basement and i can just shut the door but yeah lovely lovely uh what are we talking about i play music while stitching away yeah misha dawn does too i i sometimes find it annoying i don't know why but i slap on the 80s tunes and have some fun it just depends on you know how enthusiastic i am for that day look at the black on the door it is coming along this is actually kind of groovy because we have a little more time to chat so it's um awesome uh, it's a little bit longer stitch but that you know what that's okay we're gonna be working into bigger stuff some bigger some smaller don't worry five by seven people I'll, I'll make stuff for you that I that's similar you know I want more details I just got a new cutter from AccuQuilt and it cuts out big circles and squares so there's going to be a lot of circle mug rugs coming up because I love it. You could cut six pieces of fabric out at once. And so everything's pre-cut. Yeah, I'm having fun with that. It's awesome. Somebody last week requested the moose coasters. Yeah, the moose ones. If you guys have ideas, throw them up. Yep, moose coaster. The circle one is 4x4. That's up on omlembroidery.com. Um, and what else? Someone suggested a hot air balloon mug rug, and that went through the testers, and they did some fantastic design. So that'll be up. And then a couple of Valentine's ones. What else did we do? Cloud and sun. I was feeling a cloudy, sunny day. <laughs> Ooh, I love the door. What do you think, Don? I like it. I like the green. I really like the green. That was like a last minute decision. And I think it worked out well. I wanted something to stand out, but not like I didn't want bright red. I, I, I don't know. Someone said they have a luminaire. I'm jealous. <laughs> that, oh, they're so expensive here in Canada. It's like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Um, but I'm happy with McDreamy. I don't, I shouldn't say stuff like that because if McDreamy's listening, he's gonna like bird nest or something. He's, he's very sensitive. Bored signing off? Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Maybe something for St. Patrick's Day. Ooh, that's in March. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, and I can use this green fabric. I love the satin stitches actually just looking at it they're they're nice and small but not too small what do you guys think i think it's um 
awesome. Looks like a Christmas gingerbread door. Shh, shh, shh. It's not supposed to. It's supposed to be a January door. I kind of figured, though, in January, like in Canada, normally we are buried in snow and nobody takes down their lights anyways. So I figured a January door could be kind of decorated for Christmas. So I'm kind of going with that. Um, so what else? Oh, everyone's naming their machines. Um, what are you laughing at? Are you rubbing off on people? Why? No, no, they're naming like what they're what they have. You shush. Of course, I'm rubbing off on people. I have that effect. <laughs> McDreamy. Everyone's like perfect name. I'm like, well, yeah. Saint David's Day. All right. I'm not sure what Saint David's Day is. Do you know what Saint David's Day is, Don? No. No. All right. All right. The next step is our outline for the outside of the door what's that called don no what's it called door jam door. no door anyone know frame. door frame door no it's an outside so it's like a a trellis or something i'm not sure over top yeah <laughs> there we go no, I call it an overhang. you're an <laughs> overhang <laughs> I overhang a little bit here and there, but there you go. Anyone have any suggestions? Anyways, I put my fabric down. It's going to stitch it down. This is a fabric first, which is actually a great way to do applique. You know where it's going to go. So door sashing, fascia, threshold. I think maybe threshold is a good one. Casing. I think there's a prettier word for it. I, I don't know why I don't know. What do they say? Door detail. Door frame. Jeez, that scared me. I'm not used to using a big hoop. <laughs> it just kind of touched my arm. And I was just about to yell. So thankfully I have some <laughs> control. First time watcher from Idaho. Loving all your videos. N new addiction. Why, thank you. Why, thank you. This one's a little bit different because we are it's more stitch intense so we have more time to chat usually we're just kind of digging at it don i need to switch back please to the desk okay. because i i am not going to cut this one out at the machine sometimes i can for you guys but not always so we have some nice lines uh, I love the black and the burgundy. I'm pretty happy with that. So, of course, again, when you are trimming, be very careful with your trimming. Make sure your trimming scissors are lovely and sharp. And, you know, have your own... Te Ooh, look, when I opened the door. Look, isn't that awesome? So It's a surprise. It's a surprise. It's a door. A green door. You could have put more decorations on it. So, okay. Yep, that is looking fantastic. I am really happy with my colors. I wasn't with the other ones and it was kind of bugging me, but I'm really happy with these ones. For some reason, the burgundy just rocks. I think it's fantastic. Always make sure you have good access to your trimming properly like you don't try to stretch over i always turn the hoop and you can't put these hoops on my single needle machine you can't put them back incorrectly so it's easy to do it just makes a better cut look how this is looking it's such a great design so um i wonder what they'll be doing for february for february's design i'm sure it'll be darling so look at that nice trimming this part here is going to be for the snow so back to the machine don back to mcdreamy oh, okay that was too enthusiastic don it's almost painful i'm gonna leave it in black it's gonna stitch all the outside but i you could do like a burgundy color i could have trimmed better there um 
you could you could do a burgundy color to match it or like what I'm doing I think it'll be fine I like the black the black kind of sets everything off a bit so this is gonna be a few minutes stitching so we're we're not quite used to this because uh, it's a lot of stitching but you can see the whole thing stitch out and I think it's okay the Norseman, thank you for donating. Sandy, thank you so much, Sandy. One of the mods, Sandy Rocks. She loves to stitch out stuff for us. Um, and of course, we appreciate it. Love the red portico. Misha, thank you, Misha. So what's the great idea? Would be fun to figure out a way to stitch the door so it would open and have a design. You know... I didn't sleep well last night, and that is exactly precisely what I thought. I mean, I don't, I don't really, I don't really want to say change the design, but yeah, I'd have to talk to, um, I'd have to talk to Dime and see if they're okay with that. But it wouldn't be that hard to do. You just have to stitch it down this edge, and make it like do in another hooping and put something behind it. Oh, it would be cute. Maybe. Carol's asking what big paint it goes for. Um, it depends where you live. Of course, in the States, it's uh, cheaper. Here in Canada, with the conversion rate, it's far too much. Ooh, Don gets coffee money. <laughs> he is using my card, so the coffee money is from me. <laughs> That's <laughs> funny Karina you're you're funny so thank you everyone for the donations so Lila I'm sorry I, I'm having an off day Weiss thank you very much for the donations so hopefully everyone's having fun like I said it's a little bit different than what we're normally doing it's longer stitching but I think it's okay too well, yeah, that's the thing we can do. Janice Thomas, thank you for the donation. Oh, I love the, I love the cartoon pair, guys. This one's like saying thank you. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I love the black with the burgundy. I'm glad I left it. I'm definitely glad I left it. So, yeah, thank you, everyone, for the donations. Um... I can't wait to start on the Valentine mug rugs. I, I've been having so much fun creating them, and I think you guys will love stitching them out. So I've got, what, two so far? Three? Um, I'll be sending the third one, I guess, to the stitchers, um, the testers, because it's really cool. I really like it. I bought my AccuQuilt quite a few years ago. They wouldn't they weren't as expensive as they were now. Yeah, they're pretty pricey, but as long as you pick, you know, dies that you're going to use. I'm not a quilter, so I'm not going to use the quilting dies, but the applique dies are awesome. My only problem is I can do them, but I can't share the designs with you guys because that shape is copyrighted. Um, the only thing you can do to get around that is you can get Imbrilliance, which I love. Imbrilliance on a Mac runs natively. I love it. Um, and you can get, it's an add-on, and I think it's like $50, and you get a whole ton of shapes, and you're allowed to use them either for your AccuQuilt or for a cutter. So if you have a cutter, you can just send the shape, and it works really well. So I think it's... Um, I think it's fun. I get a big kick out of it. It's really expensive for Canadians, but I I love it. I, I absolutely love it. It's so much fun. So, Margie, thank you very much. David Weaver, thank you very much for the donations. Um, as always, with the donations, we just roll it back into... Um, the channel so we'll buy cameras we've got some better lighting fabric that you guys can see 
anything like that we roll it back in so you guys can see more and i can do more like getting the circle cutter i consider that part of it because i'm going to use them to make mug mug rugs they benefit from their donations. <laughs> margie love your videos i live alone and this makes me feel like i am with friends well you know what me too i have to live with dawn and i have two kids but it is nice to have embroidery friends. I don't actually have any embroidery friends. It's Sunday so, morning embroidery and coffee. It, it's just something that everyone loves. Uh, I love it. It's I wake up and I go, yes! Saturday, we get to stitch along with friends. All right, so I am off today, and um, my trimming is a little off, so I'll, I'll kind of fix that out. It's just that kind of day. Uh, it's taking a little while to stitch out, but look how fantastic that looks right over here. I love it. I absolutely love it. So it's awesome. Uh, I love this. It looks fabulous. I'll be stitching me this afternoon after I clean the house. Clean the house? I probably should too. Uh, that's not going to happen today. Uh, uh, we did that the other day. We, we're we both... See, the good thing about here is that we're both like that. If we have to choose between embroidery, you know, and which includes running our business or cleaning the house, uh, we always choose embroidery. It just is the way it is. Um, we enjoy the stitch lawns. Like I said, this one is a little bit different. Um, I hope Eileen Roche is watching the stitch out. If you are, hi, Eileen, um, because that would be awesome. Um, I hope you guys have a ton of fun picking fabrics, getting inspiration. You can copy mine. You can do whatever you want. You can be a little more groovy with your fabrics. Try it out. And I hope that uh we just kind of overwhelm dime with all the doors that we do and i think it's it's fun you don't have to live with don brown you could choose to live well yes i chose to live with him of course i did i know i know what do you think i'm reading i'm reading don i know i said what were you thinking when you chose to live with me nobody's sure <laughs> All right, time for some detail work. Actually, that wasn't too bad time-wise. I just, I feel kind of bad because it's going to take longer, but I think it's worth it. Kathy Reeves, woo! Thank you. Thanks for being you. Woohoo! Thank you for donating. We appreciate it. Ooh, I love this detail at the top. I, I think that looks great. Sa Sunday are my stitch days. Yeah. We used to try to take Sundays off, but... We don't. I took Christmas off, and I work New Year's. Saturdays so. we kind of take off after this. We kind of do. I won't be this week, though. Well, I might have a nap, but yeah. It's, um, it's cool. Sh Shanna Long says, hi, Sue from Missouri. Hi, from Canada. Now, normally in January, it is bitter cold in Canada with an absolute ton of snow and we have warm and rain so it's like 10 degrees and raining out yeah it's 10 degrees celsius and raining out so it's very very strange for us i i don't think we've ever had weather like this one good thing is we don't have to have a heart attack shoveling um but it's weird did we even get the shovels out, Don? Yeah, I think the girls shoveled once. Once. It's it's kind of weird. We had a green Christmas, which sometimes we have. I guess that's normal sometimes. But usually January is just like batting down the hatches. Um, it's cold. So there we go. I'm using the Kingstar Gold for the doorknob. And I think there's another little piece and then the light. So we're almost done, guys. We're, we're getting there. Um, we had our first blizzard snowing in Tulsa. Tulsa is what? Oklahoma. Oklahoma? Do you guys usually get snowstorms? I, I heard on CNN that it's going to... Uh, there's a big, huge storm coming towards the state, and it's kind of... What? I didn't mean to interrupt. Um, 
It's 75 and storming in Fort Knox. 75. Warm. Warm and storming. 75 Fahrenheit? Yep. Why is it stop? Don't stop, Stitch. Ooh, the gold looks really nice. Really nice on it. I'm so happy. So this is the, the light, which is, I love the detail work on this. Mary Smith, thank you so much. You are amazing. No, you are. No, you are. Just nobody say Don is. That's fine. Thank you very, very much. We appreciate it. When I stitched the tree out, I broke my needle due to all the thread designs on the left top of the door. You have stitches with the tree, snow on the roof, besides around the door. Okay, and go Chiefs. That's a sports thing, I'm sure. Um, yeah, I didn't do the design, so I don't know, and this is the first time I am stitching it out. Don is amazing, too. He actually is. But I have to give him a hard time once in a while because I don't want him to get, you know, a big fat head or anything, right? So, yes, Don is amazing. <laughs> Don is amazing. 63 degrees, heavy rain, and very windy in southern Indiana. Um, weird weather. Weird weather. Oh, I got to change thread. So someone said, what number gold thread is it? And if you hold on, I'll tell you. It's the MG2, it says on the top. Let me see if I can get it. BX251 MG2. And if you see, like, different writing, different country writing, like Chinese or something, that's the correct stuff. But it is sold by uh, Dime. There we go. So I'm going to do black because this is kind of like an old fashioned outside uh, light and it'll look good with all the black around. So I think that's good. So yeah, I mean, it's a bit longer. There's a lot of detail, but I love it. I'm loving it. What's it doing up there? I'm just watching, sorry. I made a mistake. Are we gonna stitch through it? That's weird. I had a little piece of the gold. I forgot to pull out the gold. I think King Star is made in Japan. Yeah, I think so too. Well, well. All right, thank you, McDreamy. I, if I hadn't said anything, no one would have noticed, but woo! <laughs> thank you very much. I, I'm not sure if I've ever done that before. Yeah, well, um, awesome. What size designs do we look for to decorate the door? Um, well, they're going to be small. I have a few that I'm going to show you guys just for an example. Um, decorating what what do you decorate the door with in january like i said in canada it'll still be decorated for christmas because normally you know it's piles of snow and freezing and nobody goes out and takes their lights down till it gets a little warmer mm-hmm mm-hmm it's usually up till april so i'm glad we took it down this year <laughs> well I, I think a long time ago, people, like when you're a kid, you know that you don't go up on the roof in January to take down your your uh, lights. It's just too dangerous. It's not worth it. So you just don't turn them on. That's how we roll in Canada anyways. It's just the way it is. So. Oh, did ya? We don't have ours on. It's been a long day, hasn't it, Don? Yeah, I can't tell. <laughs> All right, now we're going to put down the snow on the top, which is a wonderful detail. Um, and it is, it is going to look good. It's a small, it's a small bit of snow. But let's see, let's see. The door is actually, for some reason, reason bigger than I thought so I don't know 
Oh yeah, that'll be fine. Again, don't use black thread. Um, because it's not gonna look good. It's gonna show through. I have the hiccups, so that's awesome. Alright, so we're gonna place our fabric down right there. And I'm still gonna keep using the black so you guys can see it. I'm not I'm not worried about it. Because otherwise you won't be able to see it. So it's just a little piece. I wonder if stitches would be better for this part. But I guess the applique will give it, you know, a really different look. It's going to be a little hard to cut out. But, you know, details. There we go. Can we go back to the desk there, Dawn? <laughs> So, I'm not criticizing the design, I'm just saying that this is a bit small and maybe a little bit difficult to cut out, but let's see, let's test your see. Skills. Well, you know, everything you do, test your skills, you can make anything work. It's not so bad. I'm using felt. I'm using felt. So maybe if you use just regular fabric it might be easier is that thunder yeah. oh my goodness I thought it was a truck going no we i don't know if you guys can hear it out there uh but uh, we just had uh, thunder wow in january that's the weirdest thing that has ever happened that's weird Okay, so that wasn't that bad to cut out. That's fine. If you had like printed fabric with a small design on it that maybe had snowflakes or something, I think that would be cool. But doesn't it look good? I'm going to do the snow in black and hope it looks kind of shadowy. Back to the machine, Don. Oh, I'm asleep. Up. You're asleep? Machine's up. Machine's up. All right, I'm going to do it in black. I... I I'm wondering how it'll look. It's good to, you know, experiment. Why not? <sighs> Sherry Johnson said we had thunderstorms last night. Wait for the thunder snow. Uh, uh, I don't think we're supposed to get any snow, but that's also kind of weird, isn't it? That we don't have any snow. Um, thunder. I cannot believe we just had thunder. I kind of like the black. Now, what I did is I left a little bit here. Careful putting your fingers near it. I left on purpose some because I wanted the white to show because the snow gets everywhere. So felt, it's really thick felt. And I left, it should be even all the way around. And hopefully that will look great. So, okay. In my life, it's not stopping so that I can put down my... In my file. Oh, it didn't stop? I'm using the PES file and I had the color change. That's very strange. That's very strange. Uh, Linda Sheets says, Can't sew along, but you have lots of great ideas. Great hints and ideas. Thanks a lot. Well, you're very welcome. I think... Um, Half the people stitch along and the other half of the people watch and enjoy the chat, which I think it's, it's cool. Either way, it's fun. You can stitch it afterwards. You can view the video again because, of course, there'll always be a replay on it. Yeah, I kind of like the black. I'm saying I should have left a little more of the white because it looks fluffy. It looks fluffy underneath here, and I kind of like that. Yeah, why not? Why not? Bold. Uh, Kathy Paskey says, I can't wait to stitch this out later. Yeah, it's really nice. Like I said, it's a bit longer. Um, it's a bit longer than what we normally do, but that's okay. We can do it once a month and have some fun. I'm going to be skipping the skis. Um, because I don't ski, so I'm just simply going to skip them. 
and I am going to come up with different things to put there. So that'll shorten the time a little bit. Um, I like the skis. I think they look absolutely fantastic. And if you were a skier, that's where they would be if you didn't have a garage. But I'm just going to skip it. I got, I got some other things. It'll be really good. I love a long live, Karina says. Yeah, you're up for anything, aren't you, Karina? It's awesome. I did one earlier this week. Then I watch Sue to look at the other ideas. Then I make another one. Well, Sandy, aren't you ambitious? Totally ambitious. Okay, this is also going to be a longer stitch out scissors uh, because this is the tree. So is everyone okay watching? We're not losing people? No, because I could, I could skip it and do it after. Do you guys want me to do the tree now or do it after? Let me know. Um, cause I do want to stitch it. I just won't unhoop it. We'll just talk about the finishing while it's in the hoop. Keep going. Like watching. Okay. Let's see if we get some more. And I just don't want to lose people and views if it's taking too long. Well, the majority says do it now. Okay. Awesome. You guys are the best. Isn't that awesome, Don? <laughs> It's blowing up. Usually when I ask a question like that. We can just watch it and chat. Uh, this is actually one of the few times that I get to see the chat. Come on. Dreamy. Thank you. So I'm going to use a little bit of a darker brown for the tree but you can make it any color you want. I just want to not match the bricks because I want it to stand out. There we go. All right, let's, it's going to be 11 minutes for the tree. So that's not too bad. We're, we're getting there. We're going to skip the skis because I don't want them. Um, and then I have some ideas for decorations. You don't have to decorate them at all. C. Lombard says, I gotta run, watch again later. Thanks soon, Don. Have a great week, y'all. You too. You too. Thanks for watching. We appreciate that. So nice to have all the Sue interaction, Misha says. It's true. I, I catch some of the stuff that everyone's chatting about, but I miss most of it because I'm looking at McDreamy and watching him stitch. So this is kind of cool for me. What do you guys think of the black around the snow? Uh, maybe a little odd, but what do you guys think? It it's kind of, it's different. Yep. Think outside the box. I don't, think it's bad. I don't think it's bad at all. It's just different. Now, we have a little bit of snow to do on the tree once it's stitched. And the skis that we're going to skip, but we also have the snow drifts by the door, so um, I think that'll be fine. Oh, I like the tree. I like the light in gold, too. Um, so I'm happy with my decisions of bright colors. I like that. I like that. I'm pretty happy with it. I love the snow. The cool thing about this design is you can add or leave out parts like the tree or the skis. You can. I think the tree makes it look fantastic. And the, the skis, you know, they look great. They, I'm not criticizing the design at all. Um, I think, like, I wouldn't recommend that you change anything in the design because I think that's messing with the designer sort of thing. Um, but leaving stuff out, yeah, you can do that. Um, I think it's fine. What do you think, Don? How about white metallic for the snow outline? Yeah, I had... What did I have? I had this. Whoops. Ooh, I'm attached. Ugh. There we go. I had this for the snow, and then I changed my mind last minute. So... I do that, and that's fine. It's silver, but it's white enough, I think. I, I think it would be. Uh, I think a light blue for the outline for the snow. Great idea, sir. Esther. Great idea. Yeah. A dog for the porch would be great. Yep. Um, I have my lace dash out. I could have put my lace dash on there, too. That would have been fine. 
Gotta have a little drink. There we go. Oh yeah, variegated thread. I would like to find a mostly white with black bits variegated to make a birch tree. You know, that's funny that you mentioned that, Elizabeth Rose, because that's what I thought of too. Um, I didn't, I don't have a very good stash of variegated thread yet, um, but I think a birch tree would be wonderful. Maybe a snowman instead of the skis. Well, yeah, we still make snow snowmans. I'm I'm probably too old for it, but we, the girls and I, always make a snowman. Uh, not this year. It'll be like a rain bucket man or something. I don't know. <laughs> the stitch out video says add something different or decorate your door differently if you want. Okay, good to know. Good to know. I just don't want to step on any any toes or offend anybody. Uh, by changing it. I, like I said, I normally don't recommend that. Um, but if they want you to decorate it, I think um, they want to dime designs and machine embroidery. I think they want to see uh, different ideas and different things. And you know, we can come up with that. So don't forget about the hashtags, hashtag dime door, hashtag dime so long on your personal page. And Dime's going to pick you up and they're going to post it. I think they're going to, um, what are they going to do? They're just going to keep posting them or they're going to make a page with them. But anyways, they're going to share your design, which is really cool to have Dime share anything. It's fine. You could use buttons as decorations. Fantastic idea. Absolutely fantastic idea. You could put buttons hanging off the tree or if you had little pins or stick pins um we decorate our trees normally in canada but wouldn't that be cute just a couple of them you don't want to overdo it great idea that's really a good idea dime says out of king star metallic thread yeah they weren't counting on me <laughs> loving it so much uh, everyone ran out and bought it, and I, I think that's awesome. And they ran out really quickly. Their distributors should have some. I know people are still picking it up. So, um, yeah, search around. Did some people purchase it from Amazon as well? Maybe. You might be able to find it on Amazon. So, I don't, I don't know. Um... Let's see. I think I'll use the fabric with stone or wood pattern printed on the material. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? So down here, you could use down, down here, you could use stones and this could be wood. I had wood fabric, but the design was huge. So it wouldn't have looked, it wouldn't have looked like anything, but uh, yeah, absolutely. Or wood on the door. I wanted a bright door, but that's awesome. Um, Cindy Revan says, I only found silver, silver and gold King Star from Amazon. I think Amazon is out as well. Yeah, we kind of did that with the dragon, Dance of the Dragonflies fabric. They had 11 and they sold out really quickly. So yeah, I'll, um, I'll have a look and see if I can find anything. But go on to the designs website. We still have a few minutes. Um, we still have a few minutes, um, but that's okay. We'll see if we can find it. I should ask mom where she, cause she bought mine at Christmas and she had colors. She purchased colors that I didn't have. She got it right from Dime. Hmm. 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 It's great that you don't have a time limit on your live stream. Thank you for completing the design. No, there's no time limit. We could stitch together all day if we wanted to. I don't know if you guys would get bored listening to me, but no, we, we kind of aim for about an hour because I think that's a good time. Uh, but if it takes longer, that's fine. I'm not worried. We have the time. This is what we do on Saturdays, right? So, 
Uh, Sue Cleek says, I bought mine at a local quilt shop. Yeah, we don't actually have a quilt store in the town that we live in. Um, we'd have to probably go into the city for that. We're not country bumpkins, and our city is pretty good, but it doesn't have a lot of stores like that. It's weird. We don't even have, um, much of a fabric store here. We have one, but not, not a big one. It's hard to find in Canada. Yeah, I know, Gwen, everything's hard to find in Canada. Um, so the address is North Pole, H -O -H -O -H -O. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Don's mom just texted him and said she got the King Star thread from from where, Don? No. Oh, from the what North, the North Pole. The North Pole. She's smart, right? Uh, we need to see Don's hands and fingernails. Why? <laughs> just why? <laughs> <I'll do my> <laughs> <nails>. <laughs> um she got it from the embroidery store and i'll read to you the colors she got copper green red dark blue turquoise persian ooh, lavender ooh, carnation aqua and gold three i guess there's different gold hmm hmm so the embroidery store so she went online and got that so that's that's where she got them at Christmas. I don't know if they have any more, but you guys can always check, right? Uh, let's see. We must have a lot of broken fingers watching because <laughs> we don't have 300 likes. I uh, yeah, I know. It, it always that way. As long as everyone's having fun, the likes uh, make f uh, YouTube notice more. But you know, what are you gonna do? I'm having a wonderful time with you all this morning. I wasn't prepared, and I'm just grabbing material as I go. You know what? Sometimes when you work like that, you come up with amazing things. I like to try to inspire people to try something different and be a little different. And sometimes it works, and sometimes it looks terrible. So, you know, just try, I always say. The tree is gorgeous. I think I have a little tension stuff going on there, but it kind of adds to it. What are we doing now? More tree? Is it more tree? I guess it must be. Oh, it's going to outline the tree. All right. My bad. I like it. I do have a little bit of tension going on. Hmm. You can see right here. Maybe McDreamy needs a clean and that's possible. It's okay, it adds to the effect of the tree. Sometimes mistakes are happy mistakes or boo-boos are happy boo-boos. And I always judge at this point, is it okay? Does it make it look terrible? Um, remember that nobody is going to be looking at your design and go, oh my goodness, she has a tension problem. No one will notice, so I'm leaving it. Why not? All right, I think we have more applique. It, yeah, it does give the tree texture. Uh, and I think it looks fine. Let's remember to pull our thread out, Sue, because you can make a mess. So now we're gonna put away the darker brown and we are gonna do some snow detail work. So you could do it in white. You could do it maybe in a little pale blue. I must find the perfect icy blue so we can use it just to be different. Um, but I'm going to use white and it's just going to put a little bit of snow on the tree. And I think it's a fantastic detail. So the detail is what makes it. My favorite personally is the light. I think that's an excellent detail. They could have left this whole place blank and it would look good, but this looks amazing, especially with the gold. I think the gold metallic makes it stand out. So a little bit of snow strategically in the crevices of the tree. Uh, we came unthreaded, so uh, back up there. McDreamy. Don't come unthreaded, boy. 
Well, that's okay. Well, I'm always watching. I stop it before McDreamy stops. And always back up just a smidge. Won't be much because I caught it early. And problem solved. That's why I'm always watching, just in case something like that happens. Nancy Eggleton says, I'm late, so I'll do it later, but it looks awesome as always. Looks like the embroidery store does have the King Star thread in stock. Well, there you go. There you go. See? Mom, you rock. You absolutely rock. It's awesome. Everyone loves it. Um, the metallic gold, by the way, looks incredible with the um, dragonfly, Dance of the Dragonfly. It's, um, um, it's awesome. So, I, I like the detail of the snow. Uh, I think that's cool. I do like the black around it. I like the fluffy. I think that's nice. I used felt if I didn't tell you guys for the top. I think my door looks stunning. Now, um, stay tuned to the end because once we're done this, I'm going to show you guys some ideas that I came up with. Uh, the buttons, that is an amazing idea. I don't have any handy, but um, I think that would be a fantastic idea. Don't be afraid to do a little bit of hand stitching on these as well. Um, you can come up with different ideas and just kind of hand stitch them to it and then it'll it'll work out so yeah pretty with the snow i just read someone said um that is a detail that i love i absolutely love it so i think that's the last one no what are you doing up there okay that's weird just did the bottom one and it's going back up it's doing that one again well okay then There'll be a lot of snow in that corner. Doesn't that look great, though, the detail? Okay, so now we're going to do another applique, and we're going to do it at the bottom. So I am going to leave my white thread in. It should show up well enough for you guys. And the first step is the outline for it, which is... It's just little. Oh, why did I think it was bigger? Well, did you think it was bigger, Don? No. No. I don't know. I wasn't watching it. Don! Don's sleeping I'm again. My stuff over here. Sorry. Well, he thinks he's busy. Are you putting up stuff like you should be? Yep. Hashtags and all that? Okay, so that's going to stitch down twice. And. It's gonna do the outside right away, so I am gonna I'm gonna trim it in place. And again, I probably want to leave the fluffy bits there. So yeah, I'm just uh, not gonna. Oh, big hoop! Blue. It's moved my light back there too. By the way, I forgot I was using such a big hoop. There we go. And I'm just gonna leave it because I can't really see around the camera. So, well, that was a good view of me trimming. So I trimmed around, and I'm just going to leave this part because um, it's not going to stitch it. And then it's going to do, it's going to go right over and do the outline for the other piece of the snow. I was also looking to make sure that the felt covered everything up, and it does. So it is going to stitch it down in white. Um, we're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, although it's taking longer to stitch than what we normally do, it is worth it for the details. I love these little bits of snow here. I'm so excited to show you guys my ideas. It's awesome. So, okay, what's going on in the chat? Is Don taking notes, says Sandri Sandy. Are you taking notes, Don? No. I haven't given him anything to take a note on. He does, and he leaves them stuck all over the place. It's uh, kind of funny. Hello from France. Hello. Hello from thunderstorming Canada. It's awesome. 
Carolyn Morgan says, those of you who have smaller hoops, check your software to see if it will split designs. Yeah, you can. I am not sure how well um, you can split like the applique parts. I think everyone says don't, um, but I'm not sure. I've never tried. I think it would be difficult, but you never know. There we go. Thank you, Dreamy. Yeah, I heard you, man. Now, uh, that was our outline. So we're just going to strategically place it so I have less trimming. Ah, Don's behind me. What? Mm -hmm. I just heard you breathing. Barbara. Once to know when the moose mug rug's coming out. Uh, the moose mug, mug rug is out. It is on. I got to rethread here. Check and rethread upper thread. Thanks, McDreamy. I figured that out. The moose mug rug and the moose coaster is on omlembroidery.com. And it's part of Don's Den, we're calling it. So he's going to. It's Don's Den of Manly Embroidery Designs. So, whoops. So, yeah, it's out already. So feel free if you like it. The stitch outs are fantastic and it looks great. I forgot to rewind. Oh, well, let's see. I think the skis are to balance the design. Yes, I'll agree there. I am going to put something else there. I just haven't figured out what it is yet. Um, it does balance the design. That's why I said don't don't be too quick to, you know, get rid of them because I think they're an integral part of the design. Um, so if you like the skis, it doesn't matter if you ski or not. You need to put something there, I think. So a snowman was a great idea. Snowman would be cute. Snowman would be cute. You could do, um, didn't they have once on a neat, a good design that they had? What did they have? It was um, buttons. I'll have to look that up because that's a great idea. Buttons with designs around them. And I'm pretty sure that there was a snowman one. And I think that would be um, cool. Uh, I hope that my Berninia maxi hoop will work. Technically, it should because of a maximum sewing area. Does anyone know? No, I don't know anything about Berninia machines. We have all brother machines, so so brother and baby lock are close enough to say we can, you know, help with those two. Um, load it up on your machine and see. A snow shovel! Brilliant! Brilliant, Gia! Gia Willa McDo McGo says a snow shovel. Yep, find yourself a snow shovel design right here, right on the side. I think that would look fantastic. Um, Sue and Dawn are in Ontario. Yes, we are in Ontario. And the town we live in is called Chatham. And it's an hour away from Windsor. So, cool. Okay, so this part here coming up, we forgot to talk about it. If you are making this a hanging design, which I'm not going to, I want to put some of them together. But if you are doing it, this is where you'd place them right now and they should go up over this line and down and it's just fabric that's folded and this line is going to stitch them down. So you want the fold on this side and the top part on that side because it's going to fold right in. So we could skip this and because I'm not doing it as a hanging, not this one anyways, I might do another one um, with a hanging thing. So let's, uh, and I'm going to skip through the skis and put something else there. Uh, I'll come up with something really clever. We're just about done. So if you are doing the hanging part on it, uh, this is where you put your fabric down face down on top. And it's going to stitch around the whole thing and leave a space for turning. So remember that, that you need to have certain parts in there to, to do it that I'm not doing. So make the hangers. Um, they show you that in the instructions. And 
Whoops, that was a close one. Oh well, it just makes it look fluffier. I'm still stitching this out because I need the whole thing defined. So maybe white <laughs> wasn't the best color to do, but there it is. But there it is. We are almost done. Look at how great that is. Oh, I love it. And it's going to stop somewhere around here so we can turn it. And it's going to do it twice because it would have a piece over it. So it's going to stitch it down. So you are amazing, Socorro Brock. Thank you very much for the donation. Much appreciated. I'm really happy with my door. So as soon as this is done, we're, I'm going to show you guys some of my ideas. And they're pretty cool, I think. So... If you were doing the hanging, you would take it out and trim it and turn it. So, okay. Happy tunes from McDreamy. Don, can we switch to desk? We can. Desk is up. Thank you. So we would be trimming it out and leave from here to here so it's easier when you sew it. You have to sew that little part out, flatten it out. But we're not going to do that. What do you guys think? Oh, did I ever have a lot of tension problems? What do you guys think? I think it's kind of awesome. It's so cute. let me show you my ideas. So there's now these are freestanding lace designs and they are small designs and they're from dime. I haven't washed them out. I forgot last night, um, but a wreath look how changes the whole thing. Isn't that cool? You could do the bow in a burgundy to match it the green is different so that stands out uh uh this one look how cute that is right there it's just a little mini tree that's not enough to balance but you could put you know right here now you can just quickly stitch them on your machine or whatever you want so i'll move that one and i'm gonna put a dash hound but for the lace charms, these are also by Designs and Machine Embroidery. Of course, I look better without the white. It's a little Scotty dog. So I thought that would kind of be cute. But wait, I have more ideas. I I need to find my ideas. Where are they? Oh, there it is. Sorry, sorry. I found at Michael's, I found this. It was in the ribbon section, Christmas ribbon. Um, and it was really cheap. It's celebrate at Christmas. And I thought, what about something like this? What do you guys think? I, I personally think that it brings it all together. And you could just stitch it on your machine with a wide zigzag stitch with matching thread. Or you could glue it down. What do you guys think? What do you think, Don? Too, look kind of like lights. Yep, so you can put it there, you can put it here. Oh, heck, you could put it around if you're doing uh hanging, you could put it around and just sew it on. Um, I thought this was really cool. You could tie bows and put bows maybe instead of that, you could put bows around bows in the tree. We always decorate our trees, wouldn't that be cool? Misha what? suggested you could even get maybe some of those um, tiny LED lights and put them on it. Oh, like these? Oh, I knocked one down. Can you get me that? Sorry, it's kind of stuck. This is what I wanted to show you guys. So when we went to Michael's, we found these. They were $4 after Christmas. And look mini lights and we got a whole bunch of them i have them everywhere they're on a timer but look at this set sorry about the jingling but look at this set it is a bit longer than i like but you could get shorter ones and look how groovy this is gonna look just let me turn it on boop look at with all the decorations you could spin it around this is wire 
so you can literally bend it any way you want so there's snowflakes and there's bells and you could like you know pin it on you could do anything isn't that cool if you because the wire's thin if you had just not the bells but just the different lights in there and you wanted to shorten it up you could put little pinholes in and pull the wire back through yep. the underside. Yep. To shorten them, put the lights closer together. Okay, if you took the time to do that, so that would amazing. be um, incredible. So you could do it so the lights are like this. Um, you could do something else with the bells. They just have a little C hook on them. But like Don said, just take it like this, is what he was saying. Just a and pinhole on the material. Just a pinhole, it poke it through. Carefully, though, because it is wire. <laughs> well, yeah, and I like the snowflakes. That brings me to another idea, is that if you had cutouts of snowflakes, you could see how cute they would look placed around just the snowflake. Hopefully you guys can see that well enough. Um, isn't that cool? Buttons, I don't have any, but I'm going to go get some. Buttons, anywhere, a button could be a wreath. You could, you know, even sharpie a line right there, very carefully, of course, or a dotted line, and put buttons here for, like, designs hanging off the tree. I love the wreath. Um, I'd probably change it to burgundy. I, I'm going to put a, a skinny snowman right here. And maybe over the door a little bit. You know what? You could even cut it out of the felt. Cut circles out and just do it like that. That's easy enough. Um, what do you guys think? How about Beetlejuice? Beetlejuice is in bed. He goes back to bed once he gets up. He's quite the dog. It's 11.30. He, he should be up by now. He should be up by now. He's like a teenager, I guess, right? Um, so isn't that great? I I think, you know, with a little bit of shopping from Michael's and a little bit of time you could make this door spectacular I will be asking Don to do that today so when we post a picture um, it should be finished now remember I'm just doing a square right so um, but yeah we're gonna tuck in the rest of the lights you can get different kinds I I couldn't find it but I had um, really small that would have just gone around the door and back up and they're tiny lights and they don't have any decorations on them and Michael it would have been yeah and and they're not very expensive at all um i think that would be fantastic you could just put a stitch or two in it but doesn't doesn't that take it up a level or five i, I think it's really cool so we'll be working on that any other ideas that you guys have Got to make a trip to Michael's and Hobby Lobby. Ooh, I wish we had a Hobby Lobby in Canada. Yeah, just, they're not, they won't be very expensive. The big sets like this, this has a timer. Um, we only paid $4 Canadian for them, which is like, what, 10 cents American? Um, right after Christmas on their sale, we picked up a lot of really good stuff like this. And this is exactly, when we bought it, this is exactly what I envisioned for it. Just bringing up a design. Here's the battery power box on it. And it takes two, three AA batteries. Triple A. No. Oh, am I wrong? Yes. I'm wrong. I, I um, you can do them fading. So you can do different settings, which is cool. See, it fades in and out. You could do flashing, which I don't even know why they have it or constant and all of it turns off after six hours so i think that's fantastic so yeah you could do something like that i thought the lights that was my big excitement decorations ribbon you know you could make uh what about a doormat here you could do a doormat so make sure when you come up with your creative ideas that you take a nice picture put it up on your personal Facebook page and put the hashtags. If you don't put the hashtags, then Dime won't be able to find you. So it's hashtag Dime Door, hashtag Dime So Long, and they will find you. And we're going to finish this one. And I hope you guys had fun. Are they doing a door every month? They are doing a door every month. That's what uh, Eileen Roche said. 
a door every month. So um, if you guys like this, if you guys had fun, we can do a door every month too. Uh, I just thought it would be different. It takes a little bit longer, but I thought it would be fun to just experiment with colors and the add-on things are what really got my attention. So, you know, freestanding lace, do wash it out first, of course, I didn't. Um, ribbon, you can make bows, you can put bows on it, you can, there's small pieces that you need. Light, uh, I think you could have a, a welcome mat. Um, I think you could have a lot of fun. A door every month month would be fantastic. They are. That's what she said. And hopefully we'll have a big turnout with their hashtags on this. And they will be so happy that they will do more. It's always going to be free. So I think that's awesome. And I want to thank uh, Dime for their fantastic idea. And allowing us to create you know, add our own things, make it our own. I love it. So I'm going to work on mine and I'll post a picture in the OML Embroidery University Facebook group when I'm done. And I'll also put it on the OML Embroidery Facebook page. And uh, I, I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. So share it, put it up on your personal uh, Facebook page. But then of course, Put it in the group because everybody's going to want to see what you guys can come up with. So um, thanks everyone for watching. Thanks for sticking with me for this longer project. I can't wait to see your doors. It's a great way to use up your little notions and knickknacks and, you know, pull out your drawers of bling. You could bling. That's another thing you could do. I just thought of it as I was saying it. Take some bling on it. I have some bling. Hold on before I say goodbye. Do I have it? Oh, it kept falling. No, I don't have any handy. But why not add some bling? That would look like lights, wouldn't it? That would look like lights. I think that would be uh, great. Oh, Don found my bling. Thank you. Okay, hold on, guys. This is, I think this is a great idea. What do you think, Don? Yeah, the small ones would be nice. Look, look what you can do blue I think this is probably the best idea look what do you guys think I have all different sizes so you could play around with it that might be nice for the doorknob um it's awesome so okay that's another idea add some bling get out your notions and all your little knick-knacky things and uh just try it and see what you think I think bling is gonna I would spread it out a bit more I think bling would be the finishing touch. So yeah, we're going to work on that. This is the part where you can really have fun. So thanks everyone for watching. I hope you guys like this video. Click on the like, subscribe, get all of your embroidery friends to subscribe as well. Help me get to my personal goal of a hundred thousand and Valentine's Day mug roads starting next week. So thanks everyone. Thanks for a wonderful Saturday morning. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.